and uh, yeah. beyond, beyond people, beyond flesh. He let me see something I'd never seen before. And let me know if I don't come to him, and if I don't yield to him, it's going to destroy me, not for a couple days, but eternally. And see, once that happened, I came back to the church, and I had a pastor that had experiences similar, similar, very similar. So it wasn't no surprise to him. And he knew just what to say and do. Just sit down, be over there, and you, know, and you serve the Lord. And you do that, and guess what? He'll break everything in your and that the devil has done to you and bring you into a, a blessed place. But I just wanted to say that. And I just want to give a couple quick testimonies of what God is doing in the midst of his body amongst his people. Because the Lord is doing great things. We heard the great testimonies of what has happened to people, how he's breaking things and everything. We got, we got one sitting in, in the church right now. My grand... She's my grandniece. You know, and I just want to say this. And, and you know what? I'm going to say this. And nobody get embarrassed about what the Lord is doing. Because I got some testimonies that they're very filthy. But guess what? Jesus can clean me up. So guess what? They ain't filthy no more. So, so, so I, I'll be the, the filthiest one. Okay? But my, my dear blessed niece. And that Paula, you on the line, girl? Yeah. Huh? She <laughs> I, I'm with you, sis. That's how I feel. Yeah. All right, dear. She called me up. Yeah. You know, the Lord puts us all. He preached about being proven. The Lord gonna prove it. He, 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 he called it testing. I, I, like, I personally like to call it proving. And what he does, he proved to you how much you ain't really listening to God and listening to his word. And how much you in your own will. That's another thing he went into. We're going to go into a lot of things that can really help you. If you've got an ear to hear, eyes to see, and a heart to accept what he says. Amen. She said, she had a little problem. And we all got little problems. But it ain't little problems, they're big problems. Because you know what? I can't handle my problems. You can't handle your problems. But we blessed because we got somebody. We can take all our problems too. And he can handle them. And she had to go and see what other. See, that's the other thing about wisdom and knowledge. You might know some people who grew up in the church their whole lives. They might know that they hear that Jesus is real. But see, when you get the understanding, the word understanding means knowledge of the holy. Now you're starting to know how the Lord really is. In other words, he done did something in your life to get your attention, to make you realize, I, I can't do that no more because I'm going to have a consequence to what it is. Most of the time, most people say, oh, the devil, the devil, the devil. You know what it is? You ain't listening to the Lord because the Lord wants to clean you up. And he wants to make you listen to him so that those things don't have an effect on you. Because once you get that ear to listen to him, he going to straighten everything out. He breaks that power. Anyway, she called me up, asked me to pray. And we pray. They asked God. The situation, she was having this number of powers, things were making her do things that cause us problems. That's what the devil does. Not only the devil does that, this flesh does it too. See, a lot of people don't realize this flesh that you encased in, it's, it's got a whole, all these works inside of it. We got a Savior that wants to put all his works inside of this flesh and put down all the works of the flesh. Anger, all you all upset, you saying this, saying that, listening to this, listening to that, all the works of the flesh. It's all in the Bible. You see it? You should read it. You should know it. But anyway, that flesh has all these works. But the Lord can clean you up purge you from the works and put his fruits of his spirit in the place of it. Anyway, we prayed. We asked, we asked God. And you know, she came home after a couple of days and she said, I don't want to be like this no more. I don't want to be saved. And guess what? She here. And you know what? I love Jesus. You know what he said? He said, whomsoever will, let them come. 
And you know what he don't do? He don't cast nobody out. See, the flesh will act this way. Oh, I don't like this one. I don't like that one. He said this. this. Oh, what they did to me. And you thought about what you did? You ain't think about what you did very much, have you? You ain't think about what you did very much, have you? Because you know what? If you did, you realize they did no more than what you did. Matter of fact, most of us did a lot worse. We had a little funny ways, funny actions, and things like that. But anyway, bless us up in here. Another thing, I just want to give God the glory and everything. Last week, we asked, we asked the church to pray for Sister Hall. And her son Gregory, he's 70 years old, he's getting drunk every day. He out there, he got locked up last week. He's been doing this for years. Brother Will, and I'm not going to go into that part of it, but anyway, for years this brother has been under a curse, under powers, and all these other things. He got locked up last week. Sister Hall called me, she always called me up, pray with him, pray with him. You don't believe God, but God's going to bless him. God, God done took care of this boy all these years. You know, that's another thing. Us, us that have asked God to take care of those around us, hasn't he taken care of us? But you better realize you're praying for all these things for these people, just like them ten lepers. Them ten lepers, like God delivered them. You know, one came back to thank him. I don't know what happened to them afterwards. I believe the Lord kept them and everything. But you know what? You got to wait to the person. You pray for them. You put them on the throne of grace. The Lord going to take care of them. But it's an individual thing. When you say in your heart, Lord, I'm going to serve you forever. I don't care what happened around me or what happens to me. You have convinced me that I should serve you and you will bless me. That's an individual thing. You, you know, we went into the Abrahams, which you all are. The Abrahams. Because you've given your life to the Lord. And we went into the Lots. The Lots, they get blessings from the Lord. But then they can't keep them. They, the Lord delivers them, but they have a hard time obeying them. They can't diligently seek the Lord. They can't give their life to the Lord completely because the flesh has a pull on them, spirits have a pull on them, and it's taking them a different way for now. But the Lord's going to save them because he's going to keep his promises Amen. to Abraham. You know why? Because Abraham obeyed God. And when you obey God, you don't do a whole lot of complaining about what's going on because you realize the Lord is teaching you something that if you learn to hold your peace and let the Lord fight your battles, you won't have a fight. But we all, but that's another story, and we we'll won't go into that later, but I just wanted to say, anyway, we prayed, and we believed God, and Brother Gregory is in Philly today. That was last week. He's in Philly today. You know what? And finally, Sister Hall's had her house up for sale for years. She, she got that far that she would do it. But see, she's got this big, beautiful house in Tennessee. It's got all this land around it. Got a brand new refrigerator, got a brand new washing machine, got a brand new oven. It's just beautiful. But now, Gregory up here, and she's coming up here. She's going to come up here. She asked me, she called me this morning before I got to church. Pray that the Lord make a way that I can get up here. I didn't know the Lord gonna make a way to get him up here, sister. He done got you this far. Yeah. What do you think he's gonna do? Leave you now? Lord done answer all these prayers. We think he's not gonna answer. He's gonna answer. And he's gonna bring you through. He show you a way. Just keep just keep trusting him, keep blessing him, and, and, and he's gonna do that. And I just can't thank God enough for how he's moving in the midst of his people. And the things that he's doing, breaking powers, delivering and helping people in everything that they're in and showing them personally. See, this is a personal relationship with Jesus. This is Jesus talking to you. 
in your situation, like Sister Kathy's situation, right? He blessed her in what she was in, in everybody else's situation. He knows that. He's very personal. He loves you. And he knows you. And he called you. And he chose you. So don't you let anybody's opinion of you stop you from serving and loving the Lord that has blessed you. But I got news for you. I'm not. And he has blessed me greatly in his continuing. And that's the thing about Snow Henry, his blessings and his deliverance. Right. Praise the Lord. Brother Redwine, how you doing? Brother Redwine. Yes, sir. How are you this day? Yes, sir. How are you doing, my brother? I'm blessed and highly favored and thanking God for sending me a Savior yeah. that I can praise and glorify him for everything he does in my life and in the life of all those that trust and obey him. Would you close us out with a word of prayer, my brother, please, as far as the service is concerned? Because yes, I'm going to pray for my dear sister. Lord God, for all the testimonies that came came forth today, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the word, Lord, that came forth today, Lord God, uh, helping us to be wise, Lord God, and uh, as in the latter part of our, our years, uh, you allowed us to live here, Lord, that uh, we may afford your wisdom, Lord God. Lord, the people that you uh, placed in our lives and sent to our past, thank you, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, for the trials and the tribulations and affliction, Lord, that you have allowed to come in our lives to teach us the wisdom and to keep and to fear you, Lord God. Mm -hmm. And we just give people going to pray, Lord, for everybody who's on the prayer line today, God. We know that your word, Lord, accomplished that which was pleasing unto you because you say your word don't go out uh, void, but it will accomplish that which pleasing unto you. We thank you for your mm -hmm. word doing this, that. Thank you to everybody who's doing good on the line today, God. It's been a blessing mm -hmm. and peaceful day. And Lord, we just thank you, Lord God, for the week to come, Lord God. You say, Lord God, that you will never leave us nor forsake us, Lord. So we just put our trust in you, whatever trial and tribulation, Lord, that lies ahead of us, Lord, you already, Father God, that may, may and prepare a way, Lord, for us to be more than a couple in Christ Jesus. As we are reading in the Word, Lord, we can do nothing without you, Lord God. As long as we abide in the vine, Lord, you and us and us and you, Father God. We can have, as the pastor said today, Lord, whatever it is that we want, Lord God. Lord, as long as it's according to your will and your purpose, Lord, and it will be that, Lord, as long as we abide in you, because your spirit leads and teach us everything that we need to know, Lord, bring everything to our remembrance, what Jesus has said unto the church, with the body, with us. And we just thank you for that today, God. We thank you, Lord God. For giving us the victory of all the money, forces, and spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're trying to hit everything that we have walked today, God. We done cast mm -hmm. that thing down, Lord. We thank you for giving mm -hmm. us the name that is above every name. This is the name of Lord Jesus Christ in that. And we just give you the praise and the glory for this opportunity, Lord. God, fellowship on this airway, Father. And we just give you the glory and praise and the honor. And let everybody stay on this prayer line. Amen and amen. Y'all know I love y'all. Amen. Amen. And you know we're going to love you right back, my brother. That's what, that's what Jesus asked of us. That you might love one another as I has loved you. And if you felt Jesus' love, you know it's a forgiving love. It's a love that forgives what people do to you. Remember what he did on his cross. So he didn't condemn them. Go oh, what you're doing. You know who I am. He had 12 legions of angels he could have called down to do that. But what did he speak? Father, forgive them. For they know not what they do. When you come to the realize that he's given you wisdom and knowledge of who he is and what he can do for you, well, you're a blessed person. They're ignorant of it. That's why they acting and acting out how they are and doing the things they are. Because they don't understand their payment, their reward is eternal damnation if they don't yield to the word they come to say. Ours is eternal blessings if we yield to the one that comes to put down all of the works of Satan in our lives. And he's able to do that. God bless y'all. We're going to take you off the line. We're going to thank God for Jesus. And we're going to ask anybody if they want to take communion.
and if they feel like they want to be prayed for. And you come on up here, let me just lay my hands in the name of Jesus on my blessed, 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 great niece. Thank God for Jesus. I just thank God for his goodness and mercy. Lord, you're going to continue to work and bring you to a relationship. And we just thank you, Lord, for her. Lord, we know that you've been protected for him. And watch over everything you're going to do. Only what you can do. We thank you for your great works in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for Jesus. My blessed, blessed nephew. Bless our thank you for him. In the name of Jesus, Lord. You know you've done a great mighty work in his life already. And you're going to even do more and more. And we just thank and praise you, Lord, that, that your presence is in his life, Lord. And he desires 